I'm at QCP's house and we're not making pasta. We're making accordion potatoes. Let's make it. <laughs> First, you're gonna need a couple of these. You're also gonna need a couple of these. All right, Q, I'm gonna let you do the cutting. Oh God. And basically, we're gonna create a little rectangle. That is not a rectangle. Mm, no. Can you fix it, please? I think we're good. Slice as thin as you possibly can all the way down. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Flip it over, and now we're gonna cut at a 45 degree angle. There's no way this is working. <laughs> Please don't fall apart. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Pretty good there, Q. We're gonna need a pan. And some parchment paper. Layer potatoes right on the parchment paper. We're gonna fan them out a little bit, just like that. Now we need some butter. A couple good scoops, two, two of those. Butter. All right, now it's time for the main step. We're gonna add some flavor to this. This is Dano's original. That's the green top. Hit it with a pop, 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 pop. <laughs> so we're gonna mix that up. Just pour it in there and you'll see it'll pour down through the cracks. Now it's time for the final step and the most important step. It's the Dano's cheese knee. Have you ever heard of it? No. It's cheese mixed with Italian herbs and spice. And we call it cheese knee. I'm Italian. All right, now we go into our 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes. See what happens. How's it looking? Oh my lord, that looks amazing. All right, it's been more like about 30 minutes. We're gonna let them rest and give it a try. Time to give it a bite, see if it stretches. Oh no. I did so much better the last time I did this. I can tell you what, there's all kinds of flavor in there. That's for sure. Whoa. Now that's a fantastic Oh my potato. god, that's really good. The cheesening. The cheesening did that. There's nothing like the cheesening. It's better than pasta. Oh. 